Hey everyone, my name is Michael Brooks. Today I'm going to tell you about how I built a sleeping and storage platform for my 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL. This will only work with the hardtop version or if the top is off of your soft top. Inside, you can see I broke the construction into three parts. Uh, this was mostly because you can't fit a singular piece into the hardtop when it's on. I wanted this to be removable seasonally if you don't want it on in the winter. You have a left and a right, and then the hatch panel, which is a movable piece with a kickstand to keep it open when you need access. Inside, you'll see that you still have full access to your factory floor storage and bolt storage. On the side, it's essentially a 2x4 construction wall. The way that I did this was U-bolts attached to the seat connections and hand-tight wing nut connections. There's cross bracing up above for the two panels and to attach the hinges to for the hatch. Besides, I still need to do a panel here so when the top's off there's no access to reach in or have any security issues with the sides. I left seat belts on. Everything is just sort of covered. When you have the freedom top off, I made a system of these little loop latches onto your hard top. Basically just with some sort of rope or connection, I zigzag across to the other side and panel number one down, wrap it in a blanket, and then put the other one on top of it across that holds it down. And it seems to have held for off-roading and general road tripping. That's sort of how I deal with the freedom top when the top's on. The other factor I planned into this is security for when you have the top off in the summer. The lip of the hatch does not go any shorter than the door, so you can't actually open this or access anything underneath this platform while the Jeep is closed, even with the top off. Looking inside the Jeep, I'll show you how the sleeping platform works. Uh, using the top lever to move the seat all the way forward, I've made the sleeping platform fold down that uses the entirety of the footboard. You can see I had to cut around all the pieces at the bottom to make sure that it had full clearance. The way that that works is there's a bump here you need to clear as well as that'll be helpful as you can see when it's up, your feet can fit there. So it goes all the way to the bottom. This curve clears this piece. And then when you flip it up, it just clears the seat. When it's up, there is a bar that I have installed along the sidewall that comes out, supports that. As you can see, it should be able to hold quite a bit of weight. Kickstand is installed underneath. I don't have a system yet to catch that, but we'll talk about that later. The headroom in the back isn't super high, but it is higher behind the sound bar than in front of it. So when in here, you pivot around, it is essentially six feet from corner to corner. I'm 5'10", and you have just about the right amount of room to sort of have whatever amount of movement you need as long as you're not much taller than me. As you can see, the door would be right about here, so your feet have just enough room to dangle in. If you sleep on your back, your heels will extend off of the platform. Also, you can use the kickstand in the back to flip it up. I call this lounge mode. You can Instagram, read a book whatever you need to do. Uh, next, I'm gonna show you lounge mode 2.0, or as I like to call it, the lazy boy. You don't have a lot of space in here to sit up, as we covered. If you bring this up and bring your kickstand down, you have a V sit here with support. If you slide in, you use the front seat as your back. Again, I'm 5'10". This is about the top of the limit. You could change the kickstand to sit farther away or higher up, however you need. This is sort of your sitting up comfortable way in the Jeep without having to sit in the front seats. Another feature I built into this system is a front wall so everything's secure, but if you are inside the vehicle and the hatch is down, everything's closed, you have no access to anything below. There is a lock and key porthole here. Built a removable panel. You can set that inside the Jeep. Full access to everything behind. The driver can reach through, grab water bottles or anything if you're in top off mode in the summer, but still need reachable storage. So that is how I was able to build a sleeping and storage platform for two door JL. I had problems finding anything online that really laid out how to do this without taking out the passenger seat. I support people who want to do that, but I still want to be able to take a passenger. Some of the notes is I will post my drawings and photos of the system as I built it. Essentially, I built a 2x4 wall first, a 
front panel sec, the two halves, and then the hatch. Upholstering it was really difficult. I used marine grade upholstery, which is waterproof, which is awesome for the summer and with the top off. However, it is super hard to work with. I might consider reupholstering it next summer. The idea for me with this system is that I can take it in and out in about 15 minutes seasonally. So I should have it in for probably nine months a year, but there might be some time in the winter when I don't really need it. Either way, it's great storage and always a good crash pad if you need it. Probably not your long-term sleeping arrangement, so I get why people take out the passenger seat. But for me, this is what I needed. I hope this helps you figure it out as well.